as uh, phones and laptops get smaller and smaller, we have lots of heat being generated in such small scale devices and how we can transport out to maybe dissipate that heat, specifically in uh, nanostructured solids where dimensions get down to a few nanometers. When we go down to those levels, the traditional heat transport theories that we are taught in undergraduate courses, they start to break down and new physics sort of start developing. This work has been focused on systems which are called super lattices, which are alternating layers of two solids which are similar in nature but have different properties such as silicon and germanium. Uh, these are semiconductors which are widely used in a lot of cell phones and electronics. And those layers could be periodic which could be fixed length of A and B and A and B or it could be a random system where we randomize the layer thicknesses maybe one could be larger maybe one could be smaller. By randomizing these layers and creating random sets of interfaces we can sort of block out all of those heat transferring waves and they are scattered and as a result that leads to high resistance and low thermal conductivity. Machine learning was what helped us realize that structure numerically. We were able to even run let's say a hundred simulations parallelly uh, in within a couple of hours, feed that data back into the algorithm and then get another hundred set of potentially better solutions to run and in this way repeat it. So that was all possible because of the high performance computing cluster which we have at Purdue. Exceptions are how science is driven forward by discovering exceptions to theories uh, that were widely accepted before is how we drive new knowledge forward.